This is 2 Ezra 9 and 18. And now when I prepared the world, which was not yet made, even for them to dwell in that now live, no man spake against me. For then everyone obeyed, but now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed and by a law which is unsearchable rid themselves. So I considered the world, and behold, there was perils because of the devices that were coming to it. And I saw and spared it greatly, and kept me a grape of the cluster, and a plant of a great people. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept, and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahashah, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, visiting your bodies as a living sacrifice. Uh, we who are ready to live salute you. All right, so I just want to go into a lesson, into this lesson. Clifford Health. Like you. Um, all right, I just wanted to go into this lesson. And it's about, I'm going to call it born in vain. Okay, because the multitude of our people was born in vain, are, are being, are being, are, were born in vain, and there's still children that are being born for judgment. Now, I was just looking at this uh, particular uh uh, situation uh, about the let me see if I get some images about this famous dyke okay the brat pregnant okay uh, I don't know if it was through an actual man or she was artificially inseminated but supposedly this chick is a lesbian so I'm taking it that she was probably artificially inseminated. Either way, this 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 bitch is a demon and a devil, and the Lord's gonna kill her ass and her child. And there's a lot of children. You know, I'm thinking about celebrity children. Think about the Wayne Wade son. Uh, um, uh, what what what's that nigga? Will Smith's son. Uh, uh, Nia Long. She has children with an Edomite. Uh, Venus and Serena, Serena, I believe they both are married to Edomites. I know Serena has a child with an Edomite. These are children that are cursed. All right. Uh, let, me, let me get another one. Let me get another scripture, man. Uh, all right. These are children that are cursed, man. Okay. This is Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, right? And they're, they're, they're destroyed, man. You know, uh, uh, they're into the alphabet, lifestyle, all type, everything except for the um, law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bashem, the, the ways of old, right? Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of Yahweh, I will also forget thy children. So Yahweh Bashmi uh he, he don't care about destroying children, man. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, let me see. Yeah. All right, the Lord doesn't care about just killing uh, children, man. He's going to kill a lot of your children, man. All right. This is uh, 2 Chronicles 15. 2 Chronicles 15 and 12. 
and they entered into a covenant to seek Yahweh power of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul, that whosoever would not seek Yahweh power of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. All right, and that and we're entered into that covenant now, man. The the elect. And we're hoping to be a part of the cleanup crew, man. All right, because as the scripture says, they shall do according to my anger and according to my fury, man. The Lord is going to uh, 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 turn his men, as it says in, um, um, I believe it's Jeremiah 16 and 16. Uh, it says, uh, I shall send for many hunters and they shall hunt them. He said, I shall send for many fishers and they shall fish them. And I shall send for many hunters and they shall hunt them. Uh, out of the holes of the rocks and, uh, and out of the hills, man. So the Lord's going to turn his men into hunters, man. He's going to put a spirit on his men. We're not going to regard your age, your gender, whatever the hell. You know, your your looks ain't going to matter, you know, because we're going to be like the angels. The angels don't give a fuck, man. The angels kill indiscriminately, man. And that's, that's, that's Lord willing you know, we're of that number. That's what the elect are going to be risen up to do. They're going to clean, cleanse this earth of all the wicked, man. The rebels that are in the wilderness, they got to go. Okay. All right. You could read the instance of uh, those children that were um, mocking Elisha, called him bald And Elisha cursed them in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and 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 uh, the Lord sent uh, two she bears to kill forty two of those, of those children, man. The Lord don't give a damn about killing children, man. All right. All right. <clears throat> this is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let me start. Let me read it from the top. This is Ezekiel 9 and 1. He cried also in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them to have charge over the city to draw near, and every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lie towards the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with a linen, clothed with linen, with a rider's inkhorn by his side. And they went in and stood beside the braid brazen altar and these were angels and the glory of Yahweh power of Israel was gone up from the cherub whereupon he was to the threshold of the house and he called to the man clothed with the linen which had the writer's inkhorn by his side and Yahweh said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and began at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Okay. So the slaughter started with the ancient men. Okay. You know, as the scripture says, judgment shall begin at his house, man. But as you can see, the, the, these angels, they wouldn't regard whether you were old or young, man or woman. Okay. They didn't give a damn, man. And it's going to be that way uh, in the, in this in, in this in this time. Man. Okay. I'm 
okay? And and uh, and as in the old days, a lot of you going to eat your children, man. You know, a lot of you going to eat your children, man. You're going to know that there's a Lord that judges in the earth, okay? You're going to know that there, you're going to know um, that there's a judgment. You're going to know that there was a judgment in this earth, uh, 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 that Yahweh Bashmi Ashad judges in the earth, man. Okay. You're going to learn that the hard way. Uh, this is Job 27 and 13, and we usually use this to talk about Esau. But it's talking about the wicked period. There's wicked people, you know, as the scripture says, among my people are found wicked men, man. All right. But this is Job 27 and 13. This is the portion of a wicked man with Yahweh and the heritage of oppressors, which they shall receive of the Almighty. If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, and his offspring shall not be satisfied for with bread. So these children, um, they're not going to uh, make it, man. They're not gonna make it, man. They're not. They're gonna die in in, in the four sword judgment, the famine, the wars, all that, man. Okay. You know they're all gonna um perish because that wicked seed is gonna. It has to be put out, man. This is um, Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 1. Better it is to have no children and to have virtue, for the memorial thereof is immortal, because it is known with Yahweh and with men. When it is present, right, so it's better to have no children, <laughs> all right, than have uh, wicked children, man. When it is present, men take example at it, and when it is gone, they desire it, right. You know, when a, when that wild, when that wise child, Salaki, when that wise child is is a risen up, people notice it. This is a wise man that's, that the, that the Lord has sent into the earth, man. All right, and and, and and people notice that person, and when they that person is gone, you know, people mourn. All right, it weareth a crown and triumph it forever, having gotten the victory, striving for undefiled rewards. But the multiplying brood of the ungodly shall not thrive, nor take deep root from bastard slips, nor lay fast foundation. For, the, for though they flourish in branches for a time, yet standing not last, they shall be shaken with the wind, and through the force of the wind shall they be rooted out. So yeah, man, they, they're going to be rooted out of the earth, man. The imperfect branches shall be broken off, their fruit unprofitable, not ripe to eat, yea, meat for nothing. All right. For the children begotten of unlawful beds are witnesses of the wickedness against their parents in their trial. And that trial is 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 coming, man. All right, that trial is coming. All right. So all these children that are being born uh, 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 through these uh, wicked unions, man, through wicked people, all right, that are not of the elect, they're going to be destroyed, man. Okay. All right. All right. That they're gonna be uh destroyed. Cause they're good for nothing, they're meat for nothing, man. You know. The Lord's gonna remove out of his kingdom all things that offend. Uh, right, um this is wisdom of Solomon. Salaki. 
This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. Uh, I'm going to start at... Um, I'll start at 10. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken Yahweh. And that's what two-thirds of our people have done, man. All right, they, they, they've re, they've forsaken their resting place, man, their protection, their hedge. So they're going to be devoured. For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable and their hope is vain. Their labors are unfruitful and their works unprofitable. Their wives are foolish and their children wicked. So the Lord, the Lord's dissing your whole family, man. This is the real diss track, man. Okay, you fucking rappers, man dissing each other and shit the lord's dissing your ass he's dissing your family and your children and your wives all of you gonna fucking die hey there's instances when um certain men violated and they were to be put to death that their whole family got put to death with them you know it was one particular guy he stole a babylonian garment a babylonian garment you know when we were um uh, you know um we were uh, leaving, you know, um, out of Egypt, you know, th th this, uh, we were leaving the captivity. Okay. Uh, th this guy, he stole, a, I believe he stole a Babylonian garment and some gold. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, his whole house was made of dunghill, man. His whole, his family and his children got, um, uh, you know, uh, put to death. You know, their offspring is cursed. Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled, which have not known the sinful bed. She shall have fruit in the visitation of souls. All right. So, yeah. Uh, I'll read it a little bit more. Um. Uh, yeah, it says, their offspring is cursed. Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled, which have not known the sinful bed. She shall have fruit in the visitation of souls. And blessed is the eunuch, which with his hands hath wrought no iniquity, nor imagined wicked things against Yahweh. For unto him shall be given the special gift of faith and an inheritance in the temple of Yahweh more acceptable to his mind. For glorious is the fruit of good labors and the root of wisdom shall never fall away. As for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection and the seed of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. Okay. For though they live long, yet shall they be nothing regarded and their last age shall be without honor. Right. So, yeah, you, you're not going to be regarded, man. If you're not of the elect, you don't have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Uh, uh, as Christian says, uh, though a man be ever ever so perfect, roughly paraphrasing, yet the wisdom of the Lord be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. You know, roughly paraphrasing that scripture if I, if I didn't butcher it, right? Or if they die quickly, they have no hope, neither comfort in the day of trial, for horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. Horrible is going to be your end, man. Okay? Like I said, a lot of you are going to eat your children. You're going to watch them pine away, starve to death. All right? And you're going to know in that day that you pissed the Lord off, okay? All right? Um, All right, but hey, for um, for, right, this is uh, Sirach 44 and 8. There be of them that have left a name behind them that their praises might be reported, right? And this is talking about the prophets that I recorded, right? And some there be which have no memorial. And these are the prophets whose names aren't recorded, right? Which there's more prophets that aren't recorded than there are that are, right? 
who are perished as though they had never been and are become as though they had never been born and their children after them. But these were merciful men whose righteousness have not been forgotten, right? Because their works do follow them. With their seed shall continually, t- continually remain a good inheritance and their children are within the covenant. Their seed standeth fast and their children for their sakes. Their seed shall remain forever and their glory shall not be blotted out. Their bodies are buried in peace, but their name liveth forevermore. Right Now, mainly this is talking about the elect, but also their children that are of the elect, okay, are going to be preserved. They're going to be delivered in these last days, okay? There's a lot of people that's going to make it, man. Uh, women, children, young, old. There's a lot of people that are going to make it. One third is actually a very big number. You know, it's not as big as two thirds, but it is a big number. A lot of Israel will be delivered, man. But the majority is going to perish. You know, and that includes your children, right? For the children they elect, they're going to be protected. Um. Uh, This is Second Ezra 2 and 27. Be not weary, for when the day of, of heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith Yahweh. My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. Now, mainly this is talking about the elect, of course. But the elect's children, which are the elect as well, are going to be delivered. Now, some of our children may not make it because they may not be of the elect. But for the most part, I I believe our houses are going to be delivered. If we are the elect, we're going to be delivered, man. And that's your children as well, man. All right. You know. Be joyful, O thou mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee, saith Yahweh, power of hosts. All right. Which well, is all referring to the elect, really, you know. Um, remember thy children that sleep, for I shall bring them out of the, the sides of the earth and shew mercy unto them, for I am merciful, saith Yahweh, power almighty. Embrace thy children until I come and shew mercy unto them, for my wails run over and my grace shall not fail. Right. So, yeah, there's going to be mainly this is talking about the elect, but the elect's children as well, you know. All right. And they're going to be delivered, man, on that first go around. Uh, um, Let me grab one more scripture. I'm ending on that. This is uh, Zechariah 8 and 3. Thus saith Yahweh, I am returned unto Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem shall be called a city of the truth and the mountain of Yahweh, power of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus saith Yahweh, power of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem. And every man of his staff, every man with his staff in his hand for very age. So old men and old women, right? And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof, right? And there's going to be some children that were um, delivered directly from here. And there's going to be children uh, that weren't of the elect that were born in the kingdom. I'm focusing on the children that were of the elect. 
okay? Because they're going to make it on the first go around. Go around. So there's going to be on the first on on the first go around on the first day of the Lord's return or the first day when we set foot down on this ground. There's going to be children. There's going to be women. There's going to be men. You know, you know that that were old that were old women that were old children. You know, of course that we're going to have new bodies. But there's going to be children that make it from this place into the kingdom. All right. Thus saith Yahweh power of hosts, if it be marvelous in, in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, should it also be marvelous in my eyes, save Yahweh power of hosts. So it's going to be a beautiful thing to see, you know, our children playing without having the, the alphabet, you know, gender forced on them, without having a, pedophiles uh, uh, lurking here and there, you know, knowing that they're not being poisoned, whether physically or mentally or spiritually. It's going to be a beautiful thing, man. You know, when the kingdom scripture says, when Yahweh Bashmir shall turn away our captivity, we were like them that dreamed, man. So it's going to be like waking up from a nightmare, man. So... So, yeah, that was my lesson, man. I hope there was some edification within it. With that, I'd like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahshah, Basham, Rakagadash, the Barnum City Apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, salutation to you, I can push in this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies a living sacrifice. We are ready to live. Salute you, Shalom, and the Bible, Ball.